friends it's serena from the falco family where homeschool is life and having a teachable spirit is our number one goal today i am coming back to you with another clean with me this one is after the holiday madness you guys um i am trying to get my house back in order after all of the holidays have come and gone and it's taken me a little bit of time to do so i have, will have to admit i tried my best to, to sit down and to clean my whole house in one sitting and it just was not happening um, I had to put away all the gifts and reorganize all the things and we painted our wall this pretty shade of blue that it took me a while to get used to but I love it now um, and now I'm just taking my time trying to do one room at a time I'm pretty sure that I probably got through all of maybe three rooms in my house but you know what it was a good effort that was all that mattered right <laughs> I still have a couple more rooms before I can say that I'm officially winter cleaned, but um, yeah. So one of my favorite gifts from Christmas was the whole set of I Love Lucy disc. They have been my absolute favorite, so I popped one of those in and got to work. Um, you know, the way I clean things is just all random and out of order, and I just move from one room to another, just doing the best that I can. I try my best to go through and wipe down some of the corners of the walls where the kids, you know, always have their sticky little fingers. Um, fluff up some of the pillows on the couch, vacuum the floors, um, pick up stuff everywhere. I mean, I really don't get to thoroughly clean around this time it's really just survival mode here brian helps out a ton he is still on kitchen duty so him and cameron my oldest they hold the kitchen down for sure cameron's got a really interesting way of drying dishes these days especially the silverware <laughs> it's so cute i must say um so they handle the kitchen which is a really huge help for mommy You guys, did you guys hear Lucy? She said, a place for everything and everything in its place. That's the way I like it. Okay, so one of the things I really wanted to try and do with this Clean With Me video was show you a little bit of how homeschool still happens when you're doing everyday things. Um, the boys are in the dining room doing some writing and some other homeschool related things at the table and Savannah likes to follow me around. She likes to be wherever I am. So I typically ask her to grab a book and then we start reading and talking and testing and quizzing and all of that type of thing all while I'm still doing my normal cleanup things, keeping the house in order. It's how it works around here. When an animal is awake at night and sleep all day, that means they're nocturnal. Can you say nocturnal? Nocturnal. Yes. So one fact we learned about owls is that they sleep in the day and they're up all night. What's it called? Nocturnal. Nocturnal. Good job. Nocturnal. And then the second thing we learned about owls is that they can turn their heads what? Almost all. We can't turn our heads almost all the way around. <laughs> we just gave the most flappy, fabulous idea. I need to brainstorm. I'll be back. Yep, and then we just keep on learning. Lots of reading, lots of questions. I try my best 
to answer as many of their questions as possible. And let's be real here, Siri is like our best friend. If I had Alexa, she would be our best friend too. You guys, I'm almost done with the bathroom. I'm just going to finish this up right here. This is the current state of my homeschool room. It's messy. It's not horrible, but it's messy. I still have stuff left over from when I did my live planning date with my patrons. And um, yeah, I need to go through their morning baskets because a bunch of junk lands itself at the bottom of those from time to time. So I need to go ahead and pull those out and sort through that. I pull up or fold up the carpet that we have laid down so I can go ahead and do a really nice like vacuum of the carpet underneath and then I lay this out and vacuum that one. Then I'm going to go through all this because Savannah has a very interesting way of um, keeping all the junk in her plastic bins. So I'm going to go through that as well as her dollhouse and this is what I have to work with. I think I'm making it feel like it's a lot worse than it actually is, um, but I'm probably gonna go through, I'm currently going through and using some cleaner to clean off the dusties from all of their work box towers and things, and the dusties out of the corners here, dusting, vacuuming, sorting and getting things back into their places so we can get started on Monday. Um, this is pretty good. I always feel, I, I love this shelf, but I like clothes storage. So I'm going to be looking into, you know, at least I can get some things that'll hold the whole width and height of the square and then I can put the things inside of them I'm looking for that but for right now it is clean and organized so that's great things tend to land itself in the corners down here so I'm going to clean this space out clear it out vacuum I mean sweep it all that other stuff get the stuff put away and cleared off of all of the tables that is what I'm currently going to do. The kids have also written quite a bit on the mirrors, so I need to just go ahead and give them a nice little clean up and start fresh for Monday. So this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna find something to watch to keep me company. I'm gonna try to put it on a time lapse, but I don't know you guys because I need comfort right now. So Mitch Match socks, robe, I may or may not time lapse this for you because I need to feel comfortable. That's my happy place while I'm cleaning. So, especially this room. Pulling everything that you've already seen out of their work boxes and getting to any of the little cookies that find themselves at the bottom. So, cleaning through that. Doing it regularly just really helps me overall. So I'm gonna empty the bottom of these put their stuff back in, exchange anything that I need to. Um, somehow the things that they're responsible for keeping inside of their tool bins end up elsewhere. So I'm gonna do a little update on that and get things refreshed in there. Add anything that needs to be replenished like sharpened pencils and things. We'll go ahead and sharpen these, put fresh ones in there. That always makes it feel like we're back at it again. Get their binders cleaned out. Whoops, all the things all, I mean, all over the place. <laughs> um, we'll get their binders cleaned out, put the book notes that they've completed away. I'm doing right now. Um, 